Hey there, this is Place here, and today we're going to be checking out some more Uncle Roger. And apparently, he's going to be checking out, um, you know, more, uh, you know, food videos. And this time around, it's going to be one of the, you know, worst um, biryanis ever. So let's see how bad it can actually get. And before we get into this video, make sure to drop me a like to let me know uh, if you like this video. And, you know, comment down below what other videos let me check out next. And I'll be sure to do so. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to check out uh, my live streams over at twitch.tv slash Teenage Place and without further ado let's get right into the video and webcam here yeah, let's go so perfect i'm just gonna strain this oh my freak is par cooked so oh. now we can oh you want to eat that <laughs> epicurious is how uncle roger found my queen of flavor auntie esther it one of uncle okay. roger's favorite youtube channel because i use it like tinder what the hell Okay. Briani. Briani is a pretty I'm good. I'm Steven and I'm a level one chef. I'm Rinko and I'm a level two chef. Oh. I'm Danielle Alex, creator of Diversity Kitchen. And I've been a professional chef for 15 years. Mm, sheet the pro. Damn. Okay. This recipe was developed over the weekend. Over a weekend. Most Indian recipe developed over a thousand of years. But this guy just used Saturday and Sunday. I tried it on my right. girlfriend actually, so. I'm wishing her a speedy recovery. <laughs> I'm joking, she survived. Why he bragging about making shit food? I know, Soak right? the rice to loosen some of the starch. This makes the rice more fluffy. Let it soak for at least 30 minutes. Good. Freak of yeah, grain, that's, it kind of has a like, good thing to do. hue. Kind of got like a smoky flavor. Why? What, what's she using? What's what she using? using? Freak of grain, it has Freak. like a green hue. Freak of Grain for biryani. Just use basmati haya. Biryani is dish we make to celebrate special occasion. Who want to celebrate by eating grain? Using know, right? grain for basmati. Did she learn this shit from Jamie Olive Oil? Mister, use sopa for ramen. But she the professional chef and one minute in Uncle Roger put my leg down from chair yeah, already. Yeah, when the is so better upset. than a professional chef, that's when you know you kind of fucked so up. Wrong? What is this diversity kitchen? When it comes to rice, don't need diversity. White rice matter. White rice matter. Freak of grain, it kind of has right. like a green hue and it's a great source of fiber. Fiber. You want fiber, you go eat leaf. You go be giraffe. Giraffe eat fiber every day. Uncle Roger don't want that life. <sighs> the water's boiling. I add salt to the water. That's not enough salt. We left it on for mm. 15 minutes. Drain the rice. Before Drain the rice? Hi, I know, Colander I know, again. I know what needs a nephew thinking, but this training rice method, it actually okay for biryani. I know, it pained Uncle Roger to say that also. In biryani, you cook the rice until 80% done, and then you finish cooking the rice in pot, but only for biryani. You don't drain rice for egg fried rice, okay? Drain okay, rice. got okay, it, so got it, Uncle Roger, <laughs> got it. <sighs> Seeing people drain rice is very painful, but Uncle Roger accept this because different culture make rice differently. Just some culture is wrong. <laughs> Next time we're gonna use a rice cooker. Let's make everything. But his rice still look too wet. I think not done enough. Right. So we're gonna start with the lamb prep. I'm gonna cut it okay, up into lamb. two inch cubes. Mm -hmm. Common ingredient for biryani. Yes, yep, lamb biryani, pretty good. the marinade for the shrimp. Oh, shrimp biryani. Mm, less common, but no. okay. Yeah, so less common. Seeds? Fennel, yeah. good. It's maybe for oh, more special occasions, who knows? It's smelling nice already. Mm. It's like she's making her own garam masala. Then, yep. Cayenne pepper. Mace. Mace, good. And then my yogurt. Yogurt, yogurt good. Yep. Marinate the meat. The plain, unsweetened yogurt. It starts to tenderize the meat already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's acidity inside. Ideally, I would leave this overnight and just really let this kind of marinate. Letting it rest for about an hour. The meat and the marinade, not bad. Uncle Roger mm -hmm. like Rinku, the Indian knee sofa. She look like she know what she doing. But her yep. voice so high pitch and little bit creepy. I will start making the marinade for the shrimp. Her name Rinku, but her voice sound like it from the movie Rinku. If you don't eat oh. my biryani, you are gonna die in seven days. Ha ha ha. Bro, why? Now why, why Uncle Roger? We take vegetable. Tempting to cut one inch cubes. Could we do it? I don't know. Life pew it first. Doesn't work out. Do you like the skins on? I do not like the skins on. 
Who is this guy? This guy no common sense and he cooked for his girlfriend? I tried it on my girlfriend actually. I uh, feel bad for his girlfriend now. I know. She's just getting diarrhea all day. I like to use these smaller baby potatoes because I can leave them whole. For biryani, Uncle Roger only use potato if you're making vegetarian biryani. If you got meat in your biryani, then you don't need potato. Otherwise, it's too much shit in there, too much clutter. We need to Marie Kondo your biryani. Throw out all the stuff that don't bring you joy, like potato. Wouldn't just it taste like this like white people's shine. biryani? Now the tomato. Is there any skin I should peel on this <laughs> before I move any further? I'm gonna make this into cubes. I'll do the oh, onions. Onion. onion, good. And I already yep, feel these traditional. onions are strong. So as you can see, I want to do them nice and thin. We're gonna peel the carrots. Carrot? carrot. No. No. Again, no, carrot. No. Okay. If you're making vegetarian biryani, I know. stop putting vegetable in everything. Western people, you put carrot and seed there. You putting pea also. Just stop. Oh. Just stop. That's not no traditional. Vegetable. Vegetable tastes like sad. So if you want, you have it at the side. Like some of it is kind of so weird. Awkward. I think it's pretty. I know, right? You forgot to peel skin again. American man, all circumcised. So this guy can peel his thick skin, but he can't peel his carrot skin. Ayo, ayo, what ayo, the logic? Ayo. What the logic? Can we just fire this level one guy? Newborn baby cook better than him. I'm gonna place some ghee. Ghee, correct? To my pot. Add garam masala. Garam masala, good. Chili powder. Chili powder, good. Clove. Good. Star anise. Mm -hmm. Indian bay leaf. Good, good. Cumin seeds. You want cumin powder, not cumin seed. Turn this yeah, down yeah. a touch. All correct so far. Ginger garlic paste. My lamb. Needs mm -hmm. that now pre-cooking the meat first. Okay, good. Yeah, add that's my good. rose water. Good. Oh, and that adds a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and let this simmer for about an hour until the lamb is nice and thin. Yeah, rose water now gives it a really nice. Now I'm gonna make my saffron milk. I'm gonna add my rose water first. Rose water again. And then my Your saffron. whole dish can... You making biryani, not perfume. No need so much rose water. Give it a nice little stir. Uh, what? You sit. Don't stir with your finger. Uncle Roger don't want your COVID. I think she I know, just started right? a new variant. We can move on to our frika. No, no. Part of this wonderful frika, no. Very flavorful to par cook our frika. Mm. To par cook our frika. Don't par cook your frika. How about try par throw it out? How about that? Pinch of salt and my frika. We're only par cooking oh. this, right? The frika has now come to a boil. So perfect. I'm just gonna strain this. Oh. My frika's par cooked, so oh. now we can. Oh, you want to eat that? Please and nephew, you tell me, you want to eat that shit? Briyani, Probably it's not. so beautiful rice. Yeah, it's supposed to be very fluffy. So and then you have this bullshit grain. Where got appetizing? Yeah, it's some like things you shouldn't change. Chicken. It looked like hospital food. People in prison gonna ask to send this shit back. <sighs> Uncle Roger's so disappointed in Nice Danielle. Let's hope the Indian needs do better. Bring your business online and start selling with Shopify, <sighs> the e-commerce platform that's trusted by over Cinnamon. Okay. Bay leaves are in. Please okay, don't let me down. Please don't let me down. Wait, what? Turn the rice for about a minute. <sighs> Think now you like you, you stir frying the rice. Is she trying to make fire rice now? Hiya. So I have half the rice at the bottom, creating the base layer. Here's another fun ingredient, right? Plums. Plum? Shrimp. What? Plum in biryani? Here's another fun ingredient, right? Plums. Plum? Put ingredient think... in there because it's correct. Don't put ingredient in I don't think it goes well fun. in there, right? You know what else is fun? Cocaine? But Uncle Roger, don't put that shit in my fire rice unless I'm cooking for Nigella Lawson. Oh. Everybody messing up. Ugh. The downside to using Frika. The downside is that it wrong. Unlike basmati, is since basmati is white, you can really see the strands of the saffron. Because I'm using frika, it's not gonna have that dynamic bright color that kind of comes through. So you think the problem with frika is the color? Add in some more curry. I know, right? Before we put In my half goodness. a teaspoon. So now we put another half a teaspoon. We're gonna oh, mix it up. Oh, the ah, sound! That looked like really nice risotto. Too bad this video about biryani. 
So I know, you're right? Oh my a goodness. fairly stiff dough. Mm. So though, this look promising. Water. Half the jar. She's gonna make a seal for her pot. Be able to get yep. your hands dirty. This is an old ancient trick. If you want it Good. long enough. Mm. That's what all the aunties say. And it definitely long yeah. enough. Hello, aunties. So now I am creating the seal. Seal good? Which? Traditional method. Simulating Indian thumb. Traps the steam and all the flavor. Seal shut. Now I give this about 45 minutes. 45 minutes too long. Your yeah. rice already pre-cooked. And then you stir fry the rice some more. And then another 45 minutes, uh, uh, your rice gonna be porridge. See, here the Ooh. problem with making biryani like this. The rice have to cook at same time as the prawn. It's very tricky, very hard to get right unless you super experienced. So our biryani is done. Now I'm letting it rest for about 10 minutes. While this is happening, this biryani gets a lot of garnishes. And what I like to do is just Fluff it, mix it, right? Ugh, somebody Ew. called the lifeguard Papriani drowning. Onions on the bottom, we have carrots, and we have the oh, Why is it so that wet? It's pretty good. It pretty good. Why is it so wet? What's, biryani is not wet. Biryani's biryani is not wet. Cut it. Biryani is not supposed now, to be wet. For the moment of truth, the rice supposed to absorb to all of the sofa. liquid. That's how tightly it sealed my pot. Mm. Look at that. I this think it's the best. Looks, this looks the best, the honestly. Thing Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Is rose water. Rose water. Subtle. Of that too much? Just a few drops enough that you pour the whole the thing. Is cooking. Hey, but at least it's less wet than, than the level 3 one. And then pistachios. Rice look a bit overcooked, look a bit mushy. Let me show you. See? See the rice all clumping together. See? Yeah. It's sticking to a spoon. Told you it's gonna overcook. And then pistachios. Pis no, no, not pistachio. Almonds? No, almond. This not this wrong, is wrong. maybe cashew. Yeah, Let's cashew, with cashew. some of our caramelized onions. Fresh cilantro. cilantro. This is how you could tell. Cilantro, okay. Yeah, and cilantro and that one. I have raita. Raita, good. So yogurt yep. Salad. Correct. But you cannot have biryani without raita. Correct. <sighs> cashew, cilantro and raita. Only level two needs rinku. Make biryani. The professional yeah. chef needs Daniel. No. Fika, like... I can't believe it. Fika haya. Mm. Did you graduate from Jamie Olive Oil Cooking know, right? School? You make all the Indian ancestor cry now. All oh, the remarky. I Remember know, this right? and nephew. This just comedy we joke. Don't go attack anyone. Just laugh. Uncle Roger currently in San mm. Francisco. Okay. In this shithole room. I on tour with my nephew Nigel doing stand up. Sorry for not many we joke. Uncle Roger just so busy traveling everywhere. But the good thing is I get to meet so many niece and nephew in real life. Fui yo. That's the best part yeah. of my work. My next stop, I'm gonna go to Australia, go oh. to Asia. Then I'm coming back to America again later this year. All nice. the ticket link in description. Me and nephew Nigel, we going around making collab with other YouTuber. Nephew Nigel do a lot of podcasts with them. Recently, hmm. we have nephew Jimmy O Yang on. He very very good actor. And we also okay. have nephew Kevin Kreider. He the Bling Empire guy with the apps. Uncle Roger like America. Maybe one day I want to move here. Hmm. Yep. But anyway, you know what do you think about this video, man? I think this video is. Well, yeah, I think the level the the one that actually make made biryani is the level two one. The level three one, surprisingly, I knew why, but her biryani was just way worse. Like, biryani is not supposed to be wet. It's supposed to be pretty like a dry like kind of dish, like not not too wet, you know, like like nasi lemak, like like not too wet. And level one, he just made risotto basically. Like honestly, what the hell? But anyways, you know what? Do you think about this um video? You know. I personally think, as I said, level 2 is the only one that made actual biryani. And if you like this type of video so far, make sure to drop me a like to let me know. Comment down below, you know, what other videos I need to check out next and I'll be sure to do so. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to, uh, you know, um, check out my live streams over at twitch.tv slash place. And thank you all so, so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or live stream.